Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto, Carnivore, and Carnivish. And here we are, and sometimes we identify ourselves as turtles, pickles, snowflakes, and members of the No Matter What Club. And all of those things, <clears throat> all of those identifiers can really, you know, they're, they're silly little things. But when you think of who you are and what you do and what you present to the world, sometimes it's important to remember where you came from since you made the decision to be keto, carnivore, or carnivish and to give up the certain things. Um, I did get an email from one of my good friend turtles that we email daily, and she sent along a link to a TED Talk about um, the guy's great. It's 18 minutes long, I'll leave the link below. And what it is, is it is um, about doing something 100%. It's much easier to do something 100%. Now I had a client, um, her name is Holly, and she also talked about this a couple of years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And it was the same thing. And it really struck me because yes, it's just, it's, it's like, if you were an AA and you smoked pot, that's not doing sobriety at 100%. And you spend an awful lot of time perseverating about, is this too much pot? Can I still have more? Or um, if you you haven't declared yourself as a person in sobriety while you're still doing your um, amounts of alcohol. Well, I only had four glasses of wine last night. Five would be, five, I'd be an alcoholic, but four, I'm not. And I don't know if you do that with your food or if you did it with your food. He only had two cheeseburgers with the roll and the potato salad and the s'mores. And I only had one s'more and I was really full after. So do I eat too much? Well, anyway, doing our keto carnivore carnivish at 100% means just that, 100%. And it's like when I talk about making the decision so, so at your decision is at 100%, right? You can call that 100%. That decision is 100% all in. And so you don't have to worry about, did I, am I screwing around too much? Um, is this really the program that I'm supposed to be doing? If I, if I'm a weekend warrior and I play with it and I, Suddenly I'm low carb, high fat on the weekends, but I'm kind of carnivore during the week. Am I in a dangerous territory for my psyche, my, how I handle things? And, and maybe I'm not an addict. Maybe I just eat too much. Maybe I don't have an addiction to sugar. Maybe, 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 maybe. Well, <laughs> you're spending all that time wondering about it. Maybe there is something there that could be looked at. When you do it at 100%, you do it. And I don't know if it's you weigh, you measure, you track, you plan, or it's always an animal product, or your only beverage is water, or, you know, like so many of us, it's water and coffee. <laughs> don't touch my coffee. And so um, anyway, you know, it, it's, it's figuring out what you're doing your program at 100% is. And um, I found, what I found early on in my journey, and um, sometimes I found it as a coach, is that people start taking license, start taking license. In other words, giving themselves permission to have non-keto carnivore or carnivish items on the food plan while I'm their food coach. And it just felt kind of weird because it's like, why are you using me if you're having standard American diet things daily? How can I, how can I help you when you're not doing this a hundred percent? My hundred percent might not be your hundred percent, but if you've defined what your hundred percent is and you're doing it, you're a big success, right? If if my hundred percent includes my fathead pizza on Saturdays, I'm still doing my plan at 100%. I've whittled down the almond flour so much now that um, 
it's negligible. I'd have to say that slow because otherwise I'll go negligible. So figuring out what your 100% is, what your all-in commitment is, is what's important. Okay? It's not my 100%. It's not your best BFF's 100%. It's not what your husband does with, if he's kind of, you know, going along to get along. It's what your 100% is for you. It just, it takes so much weight off the shoulders, off the brain, off the whirly gigs, you know. It gives your hamster run more time for other things. Like, do I want to buy a blue dress or a red dress? Yeah, you can worry about those things because you got the food covered. And soon enough, every day you practice your 100% foods your way, no exceptions, no shaving, no little cheats, no little treats, you will be so much more content. And I have said for years here that content is one of the best places to be. There's no zip code. There's no zip codes for content. It is an inner, inner thing. It, it makes you feel strong. It gives you confidence. It makes you just kind of able to exhale instead of just inhaling, inhaling, inhaling until suddenly, you know, there's, you haven't exhaled in so long because you've been so stressed out about making it perfect only to give in when a choice is offered because you forgot right up there that 100% choice that you made, that choice, that decision, I should say the 100% decision, the decision was that you were going to be keto or carnivore or carnivish. And you know when you're not, nobody else is going to know. You could be sitting down next to somebody that does their food their way, keto, whatever, and she'll, she, he will look over your plate, tee he will look over your plate and they'll say, wow, she eats a nice, nice food plan, and you've included more ounces of something. You included more um, carbs of something. You added, say, a packet packet that you can shake like at a Wendy's, uh, too many of the salad dressings or barbecue sauce or something like that. You just kind of didn't count the carbs, the sugar, the calories of, of those extra things. But to her, because she's kind of messy too. It's like, you look like a rock star, but you know inside, you know. And so it's not something you exclaim to the world. It's not something you whine about or pout about or kick the can about. It's something that you do with pride and integrity, maintaining your 100%. You made the decision. You were pretty disgusted when you weighed yourself all those months, years ago, days ago, maybe even last week. You were pretty disgusted with where you found yourself. You let all the tips and tricks that you did in your program before when you got that great momentum, right? You got it all going and then something happened. Maybe it was the one day you were just too busy to weigh or you were just too busy to log or you were just too busy to know what your meal was going to be for the day or your second meal or your third meal, depending on how your program goes. And so you just kind of let it go. And then suddenly, you know, the obsession with the scale doesn't go. So you hop on thinking, hey, I'm doing great. You know, it was only that mess up on Wednesday. Well, guess what? It costs you. It costs you because your head is already thinking outside of that nice little disciplined box that you put yourself in. Sometimes it's a prison and sometimes it's freedom. Depends who you are, where you are with your program. I like the comfort of it. To me, it's like a flannel lined box. It's safe. I know what I'm having. It's predictable. I know the amounts that I have that make me feel full. Okay. And so sometimes you find that same thing for you that just right, that, that porridge, that Goldilocks porridge, that is just right, just for you. Not for that person, not for that person, but for you. And so you're, you're blessed, you're lucky, it's easy. Isn't that a freeing feeling? 
I don't feel locked in when I do my carnivore Monday through Friday. Um, I have 45 grams of Brussels sprouts on Sunday still, and I have my um, fathead pizza with one third of a cup of almond flour in a double batch for the crust. So it's like, it's just not even there. And maybe when the almond flour runs out, I won't buy another bag, but I had, I had two bags when the idea was given to me that you don't really need it. So it's like, oh, okay, I don't, I guess. But I'm not going to throw out, you know, $24 worth of almond flour because that's how much it costs. So once you make your decision, it just does become easier if you're all in. If you make your decision and you're still at 93%, it's not going to, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It's like, you know, you go to the, the air pump um, at the car wash and you fill three tires with air to the place they're supposed to be, and you don't do the fourth. Huh? Yeah, that's not 100%, right? So in order to be 100%, you need to do those four tires. In order to be 100% for you, you need to be in alignment with what works for you. And it's not a committee meeting that involves, you know, four other people. It's what you do that works for you. If you're able to have something, that, you know, like a, like an avocado, which is high in carbs, but high in fat. It's one of those, you know, a lot of people still have them. They get a lot from them. Um, and, and the person next to you says, I couldn't ever eat those. Those are, wow, there's so many carbs in them. And you've been having it in your food plan for a while and it works. Well, then keep having it. You know, your skin is smoother. Um, it helps with the fat content. You just love the taste. You put an egg in it with cheese on it, maybe with some crumbled bacon or something. And it's just, you know, maybe one of the one, two or three meals that you have every day. So don't let that other person sway you if it's still working for you. You know, that's another saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And so don't get swayed by other people that are, that are so, you know, right in your stuff. I have somebody that comments here on my channel and she challenges everything that I do. It's like, well, go find your own Goldilocks. If I, if I don't work for you, then you don't have to waste your time with me and challenge me on why I have something or don't have something. Go find somebody that you're comfortable with or, you know, practice acceptance. I don't get into your, yeah. so it's just kind of funny. That's the human nature part of it. And, um, yeah, it is what it is, but it is kind of funny because it's like, how can you still have that and you do that? And I, don't, I can't do that. <laughs> and it's like, okay, <laughs> then don't. But don't get into my pile. <laughs> That's my pile and it works for me. <laughs> don't we love our lives? So anyway, that's it for the day and more topics to follow. I'm just refreshed and back and it's all coming together and I'm happy. And I like being happy and content. I hope you are too. So work on that 100%, okay? That decision that you made when you felt so much self-loathing when you got on the scale. Remember that each day that you wake up, dive in at 100% and you'll have nothing but success. That's how easy it is. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye for now.